We heard yesterday morning that Constable Baloy was shot uh, on Friday evening uh, in Edridgeville. And I think for all of you that know Constable Baloy, for us that worked with him for many, many years, we know that he was very dedicated to what he was doing. Colonel Brooks and I had a very long check yesterday and again today, and I know Colonel Brooks was here this morning. The reason why we came as a member of this community, I live in this community, I'm the head of Crime Line, and we only came here to come and show our support and to come and do a quick prayer because the community and the police are one. We are part of the community. When the community breaks up from the police, we have a problem. And I think what we've seen again yesterday in the murder, the cold-blooded murder of Constable Baloy, and what happened in Hillbrow, where another officer was shot down, once again showed that these criminals have no respect for life. We know that uh, Constable Baloy's wife um, was pregnant or is pregnant. Uh, I'm told that she's now back at home and our prayers and our, and our thoughts go out to the family and with you, uh, our men and women in blue. When they kill our police officials, we must all say enough is enough. Far too many policemen have been killed. You people risk your lives day in and day out. You come, you risk your lives. And I think we as a South African population must say to you that we are with you. And that is why it's so important that these bulletproof jackets be worn. Um, because these bulletproof jackets could save a life. But as we know, Constable, Constable Baloy was off duty. He was at home. And that is a sad part. Um, I've had a long briefing and I had a long chat with General Motiba and I'm very confident that the suspect or the suspects are going to be arrested. And you're going to be, be assured they're going to be arrested. Uh, from what I'm told, um, this was a targeted attack. They stole nothing from him. Um, and um, that is why we are all sad. Uh, I know we, are, we, we might not shed tears physically, some of us, but inside we are all hurt. Uh, because you all work for Constable Baloy every day, Warren. Um, so I think before we say a prayer, maybe Warren, on behalf of the uh, of your colleagues, maybe just to say a few words and then we'll light the candle and say a few prayers. Okay. I can, I can start with Claudia, but was I working on that shift, but I know it's a uh, dedicated one on this But uh, it's not that. Anyone else who could say anything? Let's maybe uh, uh, have a silent prayer and then we'll just like a candle. Okay. 